with a choice of over 687 cities in China, one stands out above them all. In today's video, we discover China's most livable city. At the intersection of Tibet, Laos, Burma, and Vietnam lies one of China's most beautiful provinces, Yunnan. Known as the city of eternal spring due to its pleasant climate and flowers blooming all year long, Kunming is the capital and the largest city in the Yunnan province located in southwest China. Today Kunming with its mild climate, natural scenery, rich ethnic cultural heritage is undoubtedly one of the most livable cities in China and is known as the city of eternal spring. Over 6.5 million people call this city their home, yet most of us have never heard about it. This city is surrounded by mountains and sits in a valley next to a large lake, yet is a major transportation hub with easy access to southwestern China and Southeast Asia, Vietnam and Laos. Yet the same natural wonders provide Kunming with a large natural air conditioner and excellent air quality, avoiding extremes of hot and cold, with flowers blossoming in its four seasons, hence its name Spring City. Surrounded by temples and lake and limestone hill landscapes, Kunming consists of an old, previously walled city, a modern commercial district, residential and university areas. With convenient transport links in and out of the city, Kunming welcomes and sees off tens of thousands of visitors every day. These roads provide links to many popular destinations elsewhere in Union, such as Dali, Lianjiang, and Shangri-La. This interchange is designed in a cloverleaf pattern with four layers, 11 ramp bridges, and one main bridge of 1.1 kilometers, coupled with 281 board piles and 169 piers. The brand new Lao China Railway connecting the capital of Vientiane to Kunming is finally completed at a cost of $5.9 billion. It took high-end Chinese engineering to tame the nearly impervious landscape of northern Lao and to produce a masterpiece of transport infrastructure. First international cargo train loaded with 1,000 tons of cargo was launched from Kunming Vientiane on January 1st this year. With a total length of more than 1,000 kilometers, the journey for goods is cut from three days to only 30 hours. Welcome to Kunming's CBD, Central Business District, and these are the Wanda Twin Towers, 300 meter super high rise office complex constructed in just three years. Both towers feature slightly curved and twisting facades said to be inspired by the petals of Kunming's official flower, the camellia. Price tag of around $1.65 billion, these flowers stand 64 floors up and serve mixed commercial, luxury hotel and residential use. Of course, like other Chinese cities, the face of Kunming is constantly changing and most old neighborhoods have been torn down to make way for shopping malls and towering new residential complexes. Traffic jams, unknown even a few years ago, are now a common occurrence. Yet the essentially easygoing nature of Kunming is, thankfully, still the same. Spending time in Guangdu is really like going back in time. For decades, this historic part of the city was essentially ignored, but thankfully, in recent years, the local government has invested to bring the area back to life and transform it into a tourist site. Every year from November to March, tens of thousands of black-headed gauls from Siberia migrate to Kunming and spend a much warmer winter there. You can appreciate this unique phenomenon on Dianchi Lake and Green Lake Park. Due to the spring-like climate all year, this flower city has become the biggest wholesale flower market in China and Asia. Downtown Flower Market is one of the biggest wholesale markets of the region, with comparatively cheap prices for amazing flowers. 
It's a riot of colors and smells with diversity of species on offer. The next time someone gives you flowers, there's a very good possibility it came from Kunmi. This is China's most livable city. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share our content throughout all social media. This is Reportify Media.